Hey, Internet friends, this is Magic Brad with Synergy Cafe. You got your uh, Minnetonka, that's a loon, Minnesota loon. No. <laughs> I'm here with my new friend. Is it Eileen or Irene? Irene. Irene. There we go. You want to hear a. I get a, that a lot. I get that a lot, Brad. You want to hear a, um, a politically incorrect joke? Of course. Okay. What do you call a woman with one leg short of the other? Um, Eileen? Eileen. Get it? <laughs> now here's where it's politically incorrect. What do you call an Asian girl with one leg short of the other? Irene. Irene. <laughs> okay, that was. I'm sorry. Anyways, I'm ladies and gentlemen, that. boys and bears. Irene. Thank you. Woohoo! Thank you, Don. Yes. <laughs> So um, I'm not sure if you've seen the videos that I do here, but this is a get to know, like, and trust who you are video. And uh, basically just some questions of like, who are you? What do you do? Where do you do it? When do you do it? The big why. Why do you do what you do? So the first one is, who are you? You married, got kids. Who are you? Who I am I? I'm Irene Gablenick. And I am um, from IreneGablenick.com. It's my blog. And I'm a mom. I have two beautiful girls, 11 and 13, who are the center of my universe. Mm -hmm. um, what do I do? I have been in outside sales for gosh over twenty years. I've been a realtor for the past nine years, but oh, really, um, about a year ago, yeah, yeah. But I've been trying to get out of it. But my clients keep pulling me back in every time I say, "No, I'm done with real estate. I own my own business now. I don't need to do this anymore." People say, "Please, Irene, can you yes. help us get a house?" Or so it, it makes me feel good to be wanted. Um, but I have since started my own business, and I have a blog, and I just published my very first book, which I'm super, super excited about. And you got it with you? I do have it with me. And Show here us the it book. is. I Zip. published it on December 31st, 2017. Why don't you move it into the. Oh. And down, okay. down a little bit. Perfect. Zipping it up. Right. It's good to have the graphic oh, image. It it's good to have the graphic image so when people are zooming through Amazon, they go, oh, there it is, zipping it up. Okay. Picking it up, how to lose five pounds fast and look great in that little black dress. And so it's, it's not for me, method. is it? I'm sorry, Brad. It's not for me. I don't have a little black dress. Oh well, <laughs> maybe your wife does. There we go. Um, <laughs> and I just when I go on vacation or I have an event to go to and I just want to really look great in that little black dress, I just like to drop a couple pounds quick and do a little extra workouts and get fit and feel great. And um, I think I think everyone can relate to that, that you want to just feel really special for that wedding or sure. an award dinner you're going to or something like that. And um, it's, a, it's how I do it. It's my method on how I lose five pounds fast. And I step up the exercise and I squeeze an exercise on really busy days. I have a few healthy recipes in there that I share and uh, just different ways to lose weight and how to keep it off too, because that's key. A lot of these people yeah. go on these crash diets and then they end up um, gaining it back or gaining even more back. And this is not a diet. It's not, it's just my method of how I do it. And then how I keep it off. It's more um, of a lifestyle kind of thing. And, and I guess it isn't really that. It's not that difficult if you know what to do. It's kind of like a combination lock. I use that analogy a lot. If you don't know the right combination, it's hard. It's impossible to open the lock. But if you know what steps to take, it's fairly easy, right? Exactly. And one of my, the biggest thing is that you have to want it. Yeah. Like anything in life, whether it's starting a business, publishing that first book, um, any goal that you have, lose weight, feel better about yourself, live a healthier lifestyle, you have to want it. And that's the first thing I tell you is this is something that you have to want. And if you don't want it, don't bother buying my book because mm -hmm. okay. you're not going to succeed. You have to, you have to, it has to be something you really want. And I show you ways how to motivate yourself um, to do that. Different things that I use that help motivate me and keep my goal in sight um, so that I you do this in the book or do you actually do coaching and stuff too? Right now, I only do it in the book. Okay. I am thinking about doing some consulting and also in real estate because I've been over the past couple of years, I've been training newer agents uh, just because I enjoy it. Mm -hmm. um, and because when I have open houses for my listings, I'm trying not to take on new clients because I'm trying to get away from it. So I'll invite a new agent into my open house and show them how I do it. Got it. Okay. That, so 
you're kind of like me, a multipreneur. You got different I'm things sorry, going on. I am. That that's I okay though. So I mean, I respect that. But some people can't grab it. They go, I thought she was a fitness expert. Now she's a real <laughs> yeah, estate person. I know. <laughs> but everybody has multiple talents. It's just that we're so pigeonholed into. You're an accountant. You're a banker. You're a chiropractor. You're a. So I get it. You would do multiple things, and um, I would like to maybe do another one of these on that specific topic of real estate, weaning out of it. Magic Fred, no, I that's got okay. Track there. No, it's nothing to be sorry about. I just brought up because that's my challenge. I call myself a attention deficit entrepreneur because I got <laughs> so much going on. So where do you do your work? Do you got a? Do you do your work at like a home office? Is that or you do coffee shops I, or where? I do. I prefer to work at home. And um, even when I was in real estate, I would go to the office and all I did was chit chat. And I've always preferred to work at home. Sure. I do have an office. I have a desk, but I prefer to work at the kitchen table. It's my favorite place to work um, just because it's a bright, sunny little breakfast nook. Yep. And uh, it's warm in there and it's kind of comfortable and it's close to the fridge. <laughs> So when I need a snack, when I need a healthy snack, which is another thing I promote, is how to eat healthy snacks throughout the day Got it. Um, rather than big meals. So that's um, kind of how a person, I, that's in my next question is how do you do what you do? But that's kind of like, that's a little tip on how you might lose the weight is you just start, like I eat those little snap peas instead of like cookies. Perfect. Exactly. Not all the time. Yeah. Sometimes I get the Oreos and eat, eat the whole box. <laughs> I about a cookie this morning. I couldn't resist, and I did. And and they say though, if you're going to have that snack, that treat, that sometimes it's better to have it in the beginning of the day because then you have the entire day to burn the calories. Right. Yep, that's versus what I do. having a giant tub of ice cream at night. Right, I do, I do that too. On the couch, <laughs> you know. <laughs> so be. Also portion control. Yep. You know, don't don't bring out the container and a spoon. Put some in a bowl. Right. And after you finish it, wait a few minutes. And yes. I always say drink water. And because sometimes you think you're hungry and you're just thirsty. So if you think, well, why am I hungry already? Drink a big glass of water. And sometimes you'll realize, wow, I'm not even hungry. Mm -hmm. I was thirsty because it can be deceptive. Well, don't give away all your secrets. Give us a reason to buy your book. <laughs> <laughs> Soft teaching, right? Yes. Soft teaching. So um, before I ask my favorite question, which is the big why question, why don't you share how we can get a hold of you and how we can get the book? Is there an easy to, easy to well, remember? You can go to, to my website, um, irenegablenick.com. Spell Gablenick. I-R-E-N-E-G-A-B-E-L-N-I-C-K.com. And there is a link um, to the Amazon from my Zipping It Up in the menu, menu bar. Or you can just go directly to Amazon. And there it is again. Type Zipping in it Zipping It Up. It up. How to Lose Five Pounds Fast. It's available in Kindle version and also in paperback because we love choices. Yeah. Um, but I also offer daily email tips where I motivate you. I give health and fitness tips. So if you go to my website and join my email list, I will send you a free copy of my monthly newsletter. It's called Fit for Sanity because we all know life can be crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I Yeah, and I share some of my favorite family recipes in there, and I give you different ways of how to get motivated, some healthy snack options, um, and good stuff like that. So if you okay. get on my email list, that's my present to you. Perfect. Yeah. So I'm going to ask the big why question, then um, we'll sign this off and let people get back to their things, because time is a commodity these days. It's the same for everybody. We've got the same amount, so time Absolutely. is valuable. So here's the big question, and if you want to stick on after, we'll have a little chat. But the big why question, why are you doing what you're doing? The big, uh, why this and why aren't you still a real estate agent? Why are you giving up that business? Why are you doing what you're doing? Great question, Brad. Um, I have this drive. There's just something in me that makes me think you need to take your knowledge. I've been a health and fitness fanatic most of my life since I started running high school um, cross country. And freshman high and I have always just it's fun for me it's my hobby to read health and fitness to you know lay, live that lifestyle myself but especially this past year starting my own business and becoming an entrepreneur it's so hard to stay fit and we're living in a world of busy carpooling and events and you know it's not like when we were kids when we would just go ride our bike right, right. we're running here and there and life is hectic and I, I just felt the, ne the need to share what I've learned and taught myself with others so I can help others live a happier and healthier lifestyle 
for so many reasons, health benefits, life longevity, um, looking younger, just being healthier, not, not getting sick. Yeah. Um, okay. So it's just kind of a drive um, that I had inside me that made me, prompted me to do this and to have the freedom, the freedom of owning my business and not um, having to answer to clients, but working when I want to work and writing when I want to write and have that, that freedom and luxury of being a business owner. Got it. Yeah. I do a lot of these interviews and uh, 99.99%, that's what people say. It's about helping other people. So there's hope for humanity. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Well, us. I, I, Irene, I, I lean. <laughs> I lean. Remember our joke? You're not alone. You're not yeah. alone, Brad. Everyone does that. So uh, how do you say your last name again so we can get the website right? Is it Gable, like Gable without the E, N-I-C-K? Yeah. Gable Nick. G-A-B-E-L-N-I-C-K. Gable Nick. So it's Gable without the E, Nick.com. Got it. Perfect. Gable. There is an E. G-A-B-E-L-N-I-C-K. Gable. Gable Nick. <laughs> Dot com. You look confused. I am. Where's the E? Gable. There. Let me see. It's E L instead of G. Oh, it's spelled that way instead of L E. Instead of L E. It's okay. E-L. See, that's good. That's perfect. That that that'll help right there. Thank you. <laughs> Blurs Thank the confusion. You, I look so confused because I was. <laughs> yes, and if you want to do another one, maybe on the topic of real estate for people that are getting into it or getting out of it, because <laughs> things or are my changing. Next book. Or my Your next, next book. book. There you go. Right, right, right. Okay. Peace, love, and happiness. Thank you very much. I will beam this up to the universe, and uh, we'll see you on social media. Thanks. Have an amazing day.